All right, uh, we are here. I just did my advertising on the Discord. <laughs> Hero has joined. How's it going? How's it going, Hero? Uh, we're, 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 as always, it wouldn't be a, a live stream without uh, some, some technical difficulties. And you indeed are a bit early, but that is okay. You know what they say, the early bird gets the wor specialist. Yep, that's what they say. Alright, um... Hero, did you turn Canadian with the, I'm early today, eh? <laughs> do, uh, do Canadians even say that? I don't know. Alright. I think... What? Oh no, the audio's messed up. I want, I want my microphone. All right, we're good. I was looking at the wrong thing. All right, uh, we've got. Do I have? I can go from big head to small head. We're good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I'm. Yeah, whatever. I. Jeez. I don't. I, uh, let's see. I'm gonna. That's weird because I'm looking at the details right now and it says Miyogi. Uh, downhill and Tsubaki line. So. I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, you're talking about the webcam. I see what you're saying. A uh, little. Uh, let's let's change this. That's what you're saying. I got you. I got you. Let's copy that. Let's slap that on. Ooh, cancel. Title. Let's... Bam. Heck yeah. We are. Now, now we're now we're cooking with fire or <laughs> cooking with gas. I don't, I don't know what the. Now we're cooking. We're just cooking here. Okay, um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, all ready to go. I'm using a different mic. Uh, so. Oh, uh, let me uh, change the. All right, I want this thing. I'm gonna move this. Oh man, we got Mock on the stream. How's it going, Mock? And Mark, uh, Super O Mock says, "I caught the stream. Howdy, Ken. Howdy, indeed. How have you been, man? It's been a, uh, it's been quite. It's been it's been a hot minute. <laughs> so yeah, hope things have been going well for you. We are just. You came at a perfect time because we are just about to get get going here. All right." So we're using a different, um, oh, let me switch this, ugh, jeez. I always allocate, like, more time than I think I need, and then I just never, like, I'm, oh, I'm still always late, so it's the perpetual problem. I don't know if you guys had seen, but oh, we're going to go big head mode. So I got, uh, made a, I made a button box, unfortunately, like, uh, the, the, uh, not the emulator, totally the cab that I'm using doesn't uh, um, register um, F13 through F24, which is what I had mapped uh, these, some of these buttons to. So we've got, so unfortunately I can't use it today, but it's got like the very similar yellow start button and the uh, uh, blue view change and the arrows and coin up here and then big heads, small head, and then some recording functions that, uh, you know, for stream side stuff, but... Fortunately, it's gonna be another day until probably this weekend. I'll be able to use this, but all right that's Enough of that enough jibber-jabber That's a oh, Damn it. I'm using my Harada card. I'm supposed to be using my Raimi card, but But whatever 
as they say, the show must go on. Big Hero says big oopsie is absolutely a big oopsie. Uh, jeez, I don't even have like the right cars. Um, oh no, I do. I'm I'm a a, a Trueno two door enjoyer. Um, let's see what I'm working with. Okay, I was working on Nanamuggery yesterday, and uh, we're making we're making some progress there. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully that will come eventually. Um, but let's see. All right, we're just gonna go into it with. Miyogi. All right. Actually, I want to use. I want to do never say never because. So there's a. <laughs> Here it says, if only the cappuccino wasn't terrible in New D. If only, if only. We can't be the cap capu gang. It's actually been a while since I played on wheels, so this is gonna take a while. Hero says it was amazing in old D. So I've heard. The rumors are true. They can't all be, they can't all be winners. Wow, that's the whitest. The whitest turns you know. I hope someone gets that reference. I think I might have to drift that. Awful. Oh boy, not too bad. Okay, Hero says probably the only card that has been consistently good on the mainstream, uh, 8 6 the uh, F. The F. You, you mean the FC? Is it the FC3S? I know it's the FD. Is it FD3S or is it FC? No, it's FC3S. Are they both 3S? But anyway, FD and the FC. The Project D cars, the Project OP, OP cars. I got this kind of cool, uh... <laughs> oh, here it says, I feel like Miyogi would be the easiest course ever if it weren't for those 
Those darn kids. The triple hairpins. Yeah, that's the... That's always my run killer. Uh, bad line. I had to double tap the second break cancel. really don't like that hairpin or that corner. Come on, get closer. Oh boy. All right. Uh, Hero says, yeah, they're all 3S. Huh, interesting. Even the FB, the second gen, I didn't know there was a, a, a the second gen. I gotta look that up. Uh, something, yeah, I, I gotta look that up. I, th I feel like I did at some point. Um, but I wonder why 3S? Dang it. Oh. 
That was close. All things considered, that was not a bad run. Just uh <clears throat> So here it says for the first part of the big O corner, you don't drift. Uh, I'll have to try that out. It's a uh, take a good line. Apex there. Come on, little Treno, we can we can do this. do that but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force quit no more force quitted I, I gotta play it out Canceling. Oh boy, okay, anyway, 
Mox says, uh, the longer I play ID8, it feels like Tsukuba and Sadamine are actually the hardest courses. Maybe Nagao too. Uh, I am not a big fan of Tsukuba's like kind of like rigid um, uh, handling. Uh, I don't really think it's too like fun. Um, I've really never played Sadamine all too much either. Um, but I've heard was it the uphill route is like really hard, and Nago is just chaos. But it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy Nago. Nagao. 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 I gotta get closer. Closer. What is going on? I'm all kinds of all over the place. Dang it. Oh man, that was close. That was not a bad run. Uh, what is it, 0. 0.7 seconds above Specialist? Wow, and a faster uh, fourth section. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, so in response to uh, Mach, uh, Hiro says uh, Ira Hatsuka is the hardest course in D8. Uh, that is what um, all the pros say. Um, uh, and to that, Mox says, Really? Irohazuka was easy for me, at least in street stage. First course where I beat 15 star Bunta? Holy cow! I can only dream of a, a bad start. I could only dream of, a, of beating 18 star Bunta.
Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, that was a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good run. Oh, jeez. Alright, uh, here it says, yep, uh, Irohazuka is definitely the hardest course overall in D8, and Older D is actually really fun. I still need to get past even 10-star Bunta on version 3. The battle itself isn't hard, but get in the run together. The run together it is putting it all together in one clean run is hard. At least if that's what you were referring to. I am currently having that problem as we speak. Hit the outer edge. Lose too much speed. tough. Alright, here it says, I mean, I haven't been able to get close to my previous best so far. Uh, what would be your previous best? Ugh. And this is in terms of 10-star uh, Boomta. Or is it in terms of Hiro Hazaka? Jeez, that was so bad.
That was uh, not a bad triple hairpin section. Okay, uh, Hero's best is 257. 257 6. And uh, a good time would be uh, 56 and under. Ooh, that sounds fast. Jeez. Uh, world record is, uh, I think this is for Irohazaka downhill, um, 2 minutes and 54 seconds. Alright, Mox says, I still have so much trouble with Akina after all this time. The fastest I've gotten is 3.12.01 with a Spirit R. To be fair, it was automatic. Nothing, uh, nothing wrong with automatic. I think whatever gets you across the finish line, right? But everyone knows my thoughts on Akina. And were you referring to the D8 Akina or D3? Because I think that's what the conversation topic was on. But Dang it. <laughs> ah, jeez. All right. Uh, okay, actually, hang on one second. I really need to use the bathroom right now. So we're going to take a, a, quick, uh, a, quick, a quick break. Um, I'll be back in like one minute.
You know what? I'm just gonna scoot the chair back and sit down. All right. All right, we're back. So, Mock was referring to Street Stage. Uh, I could probably handle Akina a lot easier now in ID8 with the wheel and gears. Ooh, playing wheel. What kind of wheel you rocking? I might have asked that before in the past, but I apologize. I have since forgotten if that's the case. Um, Mock says, I know it's technically possible to TST in automatic for Street Stage. But I just can't wrap my head around it. I can't wrap my head around the eraser and TST and and all that stuff uh, uh, in manual. Um, let's uh. Right, we're gonna go to the time time attack banner. We still got time to, to go for this, uh, to this, for this Miyogi. Alright. I gotta practice the rest of the course anyway, so... Hero says, uh, to TST and automatic, it's pretty much the same as manual, but the upshifts are a lot slower. As in the game, the game that upshifts. Very interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna pretend that never happened.
And I'm gaining time too. Or not gain, is it gaining? I'm gaining, I'm gaining time. Yeah, so close. Was it one point? <sighs> so close. I can definitely like feel myself like getting like frustrated because I'm like really close.
just things like that, like... <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. Okay, so Mock says, uh, I will say as much as I hate Tsukuba with a burning passion, I learned a lot about ID8 through that course. Uh, I have a gold medal and it's my fastest course. Against my will. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, I... I don't like Tsukubu either. But, I think... I think when I was, uh, like, playing D8 on the cabinet, multiple years ago, um, I think Tsukubu also gave me, like, a really hard time. But... I think that's sort of when, like, things started to, like, I, I don't know, the whole break canceling thing started to connect. Um, not like I was, like, a... Not like I was, like, you know, good by any means, uh, but... Game time. Yep. So it was hard to separate, like, I don't know, your feelings from, like, I guess from, like, something that you want so badly. <laughs> like, uh, like, the specialist, for, for example, like. I'm definitely getting a bit frustrated. Uh, a bit frustrated, but. can be specialist runs, so...
<sighs> oh my god. Like I like I I know I could do it. <laughs> but yeah. Actually, I'll do I'll do one more run again on on Miyogi, and then we'll uh, we'll switch over to Ch 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 Tsubaki Line. I am not excited for Tsubaki Line because uh, that shit's hard. Oh, Mark, Mark says that he picked up an EK9. Second, to experiment with uh, front wheel drive cars. All right, that's it. Uh, I thought they could, uh, in response or not in response, um, when in regards to front wheel drive cars, Mox says, I thought they would be better than I thought, or even underrated, but they just end up having a ton of understeer, no surprise, uh, but they do have good straight line speed for its class. In, uh, in street stage or version 3, was there, like, that big of a difference, um, in, uh, I got it, I killed the bug. Uh, we're gonna go burn the side. Mock also says uh, they are also good for winding escorts like Hoppo or even Nago. Interesting. I don't know if in in I don't I don't know if it's I don't I didn't, I'm right I'll, I'll just not worry about that thought. All right. This is uh, Tsubaki Line Uphill. A whole lot different. Wow, this is really hard to get used to. Uh, coming a bit loose. This is a a lot more slippery. -er. It's kind of annoying because I I can't see the what gear I'm in because my wheel is in the right position to block it.
Yeah, the unfortunate thing about Tsubaki Lion is that you kind of have to pay attention the entire time. You can't really zone out. Or at least I can't. I'm not. I'm not that good. I'm gonna make a mental note not to do such a drastically different like handling courses back to back. Cause my head's kinda spinning at this point. Alright, let's get this chicane down. Man, that's a that's a gold time. Here it says in version 3, uh, front wheel drive cars uh, tend to not rotate as much with erasers, nor resist direction changes as much. Interesting. Oof. Oh. Oh ho ho. Oof. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, well. Seven seconds away. You know, not not too bad for for, for a start. Or 
We're more like eight seconds away. More than eight seconds. Oh, geez, terrible. Oh, yeah, hit the gutter. Gotta do that, gotta do the wheel lift. I'm getting really hot. This is a workout. Oh man, that's a lot easier on a on, on a controller, that's for sure. Mox says uh, I had an eight six eleven that I liked a lot in the street stage. They all got very finicky on the later courses like Tsuzaka or Hoppo. Mock also picked up an ER thirty four later, and it was good, very good in the rain. Much easier to take corners with understeer tendencies. Interesting. I kind of wish that like they had like at least in in in. In, in D8 that they had records for like um, for wet I think D6 they did that but then they did away with it in D7 and D8 I don't, I don't know why I think that would have been like really cool and I feel like they should have like brought back snow courses for every you know actual course that sees snow like in real life that would have been cool. Man, threading that split hairpin, is, threading the needle there is, 
Really difficult. My steering is too late. That corner is so... It sucks. I need to make like a mental note to to look up the lyrics of the song cuz I really want to like sing along with it. You know what the sad thing is? Like, on my actual specialist run when I did this on controller, I'm taking that final hairpin faster now than I did on controller. I kind of messed it up. And I remember clearing that corner, hitting the wall, and getting reduced down to, to 117 kilometers per hour. And I'm clearing that at like 130. Oh, that was almost good. It was almost good. So, Mox says, uh, didn't the arcade stage games have Snow Hoppo and Snow Tsuchi at some point? Uh, and then Hero says, yep, but not Snow Hoppo, it was Tsukuba. That is correct. Uh, I think it was D6 that had Snow uh, Tsuchi and uh, Snow Tsukuba. But depending on like how the, like where geographically the those um, places are in, in, in Japan, I mean, Japan does see snow, so like, I just think that'd be like really cool to have like three unique um, like weather types to race in. And I think that would make like Leaderboards a bit more competitive. Terrible line. Alright, I feel like, uh, I feel like this might be, uh, a bit boring for you guys. Is there a particular course that you'd like me to, to play? And if so, just let me know. Oh yeah, that's the way you're supposed to take that. Hero's given up the decision to mock. It's in your hands, mock.
think Mox says, what happened? Oh, uh, it was just... If you wanted if you wanted to see any particular course, because I think I'm getting a little tired of a uh, of Tsu Tsubaki line. Just uh, just say the word, and I'll be happy to play it. But you also have to account for the final, the tradition, the stream tradition. That we, uh, we play, uh, Snow Akina Uphill for the final course. Yeah, that's the way you do it. Alright, sub 10. <laughs> Mox says, ooh, I would love to see Momiji Line Downhill. Momiji Line Downhill, uh, coming right up. That's always a, uh... A very fun course. Although the first section, I do not like the the first section. Uh, all right, Momichi downhill. All right. Let's see if I can get platinum on the first try. I'm gonna take this one kind of conservative. Boy, there goes my, there goes my dreams. All right, let's take a good line here. Oh no! <laughs> All right, I'm so I'm <laughs> sorry about that. I can see that. Uh. Mock is rocking out to. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I don't need it. I don't need to drift that. I got gold drift though. <laughs> Baby, check out my jeans. What kind of song lyrics are those? All right, here we go. Whoa! This is an easy one right here. Yeah, that one's really easy to trigger. Ah, oh, so no platinum there, but all right. Hero says, very erotic lyrics, I would say. Oh, Christian has joined. <laughs> welcome, welcome to stream number whatever we're at. But uh, Christian says, I'm going to get those lyrics tattooed on my chest. Oh, man. What's it? Your love is like medicine. Your love is like medicine. Baby, take off my jeans. That is the pinnacle of Eurobeat lyrics right there. Mox says, I learned how to t drift those last two hairpins. 
Yeah, those ones are pretty fun to pretty fun to do. Very satisfying. <laughs> Kristen says, or my knuckles. <laughs> yeah, that's real 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 thug thug like. Baby, take off my jeans. Just I absolutely support that proposition. Wow, that was just not the best, but we managed to... That was a tactical speed drop. Totally intentional. Infinity, infinity, infinity love. Song is so badass, dude. Oh yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling here. It's uh, pretty easy. Satisfying. Just like wave to the people as as you drift on by, or do the 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 bunta smoke cigarette thing. Oh man, okay, so Hero says, uh, let's not talk about stop your self-control. Oh yeah, that was, that's a, not, not, not the greatest, not the greatest song. <laughs> uh, Mox says, I swear, Dave Rogers mentioned a bunny girl outfit in one of his songs. Jeez, Eurobeat is nuts. Christian says, uh, Sex Crime is also a song. That's a, uh, and it's an awfully catchy one too, oh boy. There's a, uh, that is a morally, uh, what's, what's the right word? Gray? It plays at my moral heartstrings. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna try to take this in fifth. Here we go. Oh. I clipped the outer edge. Hey, look at it, it's faster. steer oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I totally misjudged that that's what I get for the hubris of me gloating about my counter steer
Oh! The lingering drift. Oh, we're still chilling, even with that terrible mistake. I gotta get close to the apex. Closer to the apex on that one. Maybe I do need to break that. Ah, oh, almost sub 40. Alright, Christian says, I swear I want your love is like... I swear I want your love is like medicine to play when I get lowered and <laughs> Your love is like medicine, baby, take off my jeans. I need full time injection of the sick for your love. I am losing control. Something something my limit. I, I don't know, but I want burn inside to play at my funeral. As, no, as I'm being, like, cremated, I want Burn Inside to be <laughs> played. Oh, is that bad? That, that's pretty bad. Maybe, okay, we're, we, we should, let's back up here on the... On, on the, on the... Morbid jokes? Dang it. And I still laid up some time. Imagine. Oh. <laughs> like, so when you when you start the drift and then you like you're going, the second you put your foot back down on the gas pedal, like you're like locked into this like like this angle and it's Timing that is kind of hard, and like under like I don't know, it's 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 just very weird and like kind of awkward. Because a car behaves slightly different, like when when you know you're gas on and gas off. So Ooh, I also want to show you. Okay, after this, I'm gonna show you guys something. Oh, I am. I am not an apex legend. I need to hit the hit the apex. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the wave to the the uh, people. Oh yeah, and it worked, kind of. Unfortunately, that is not a uh, not platinum, but something better than platinum. I showed this to uh, uh, everyone on this last stream, but this this here is my shifter uh, for Assetto Corsa, and I suppose I could also use it for to replace my shifter. But um, yeah, I got this. Uh, I bought this uh, shift knob. Uh, off eBay, it is full aluminum, and uh, it's very, it's very cold, and uh, very heavy, but it feels really nice. Um, so, actually, let's see if I can. This thing came with uh, some plastic bits. 
came with this thing, which is like a, it's, it's to make it sequential. So you just put this guy on here. And I guess that makes it sequential. But like the throw is like, what are we doing? Mommy line. The throw is really not very uh, far, so. Oh, we're doing Race of the Night? We're gonna do Nonsense Sensation. All right. So Mox says, my internet totally crapped out now, watching on my phone. And then Christian says, probably caused by the audience seeing my sick drifts. Sick drifts, bro. Alright, we're, we're going no nonsense mode here with the nonsense sensation. Oh, I made it. Oh. And then I somehow exited with a drift. Oh man. Oh, don't drift there. Don't drift there. I'll get to your comments, Mock. I saw that. And unfortunately, you gotta see my not so sick drifts. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call it there. Oh, and we're big head mode. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Glad the glad I decided to force quit that. Okay. Mock says to answer your question earlier, Ken. I'm running a G29 now. Debating using the Rubberman mod on the shifter for sequential. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, I've heard good things about the uh, the G29 or the G92. They're like the same thing, right? Uh, I was actually thinking about getting that uh, getting that one. Um, and the shifter looks uh, looks pretty looks pretty nice. Uh, little uh, um, that little like fake leather thing on it. Um, okay, uh, hero says, don't cabs have some extremely short and crispy shifts? I think I think so. Although like the lever the lever arm, and that's like a technical term. The actual like stick. Uh, the length of the shifter is a lot smaller, uh, so... Uh, I, I really don't know. Uh, but you're absolutely right on, on the crispiness of the shifts. The shifters, because the arcade shifters are very, very crispy. I thought this, uh, like, the shifter that I made, um, which, over there, I don't think you guys can see it, but, like, it's a, it's a Sanwa joystick, arcade joystick, that all I did was just restrict the movement in the, uh, in the vertical, oh, vertical direction, um, because all it is is just, like, a, it's just two buttons, or four buttons, that activate when... You know, you move the... We need to move the joystick around, so... It's a very easy... Kind of mod to do. And people have done that in the past, so... I'm like, oh man, I'm like missing out on the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, Momiji is a lot of fun. I'm really, really, really digging this. This slip and slidey. I scraped my ass against the wall. 
you know, it's never a good thing when you scrape your ass against the wall. Unless you're into that kind of thing. Oh, I am an Apex Legend! <laughs> So Hero says that she has a G920, uh, and I think there was a post about up, up, up above about the one of them being for PlayStation, the other one being for Xbox, PC. But Hero broke. Hero says I broke mine like two months. Oh no. Oh. Uh, Mox says, kind of mushy plastic, but it's good to use as long as you don't miss shift. Um, and Hero says, I heard that there's a really small piece in the shifter lever that's breakable. That's the kind of thing that, like, I was, uh, afraid of, uh, when buying, like, a, a shifter. Like, any kind of, like, you know, plastic kind of thing. Um, uh, because, you know, I, I knew that I was going to be playing this pretty, uh, I don't know, playing it pretty hard. And like a joystick like this is like meant to do this. Um, so I was fine with that. Um, but yeah. But I've heard really good things about the this like the cheap import ones that, that I bought. Um, and the cool thing is is that they're serviceable. So, like, mechanically, they're very simple, and just, if, like, a button breaks or whatever, I can just, or yeah, if a button goes bad, I can just switch it out with another one, um, and I'm okay with that. Uh, in fact, I... At some point, we'll probably end up just writing my own, write my own Arduino firmware for it. Or, you know, put QMK, if you guys are into the mechanical keyboard scene. I'm a, I am also a mech keeb enthusiast. Ooh, one second down. I thought I was gonna scrape my ass, but I didn't. So Hero says that that little small plastic piece is what broke on hers. Oops. Okay. Uh, because the calibration just went all over the place. Um, I mean, it's partly my fault, too. I tried using it as a shifter for old D. That sounds like not fun for the shifter. Using TST eraser and all that kind of just shifting it back and forth. I don't even know if you, you know, you don't do this. But, I don't know, it's like way back... Hang on. I should use this. I should use this as my sequential shifter. This uh this handbrake. Just I need to install that. I've been I've been slacking on on a lot of things here. Wow, I'm like sweating, like my shirt's kind of getting wet. My back is all sweaty. Man, that afterdrift is no bueno. 
I don't need to drift that. What am I doing? This is one of those courses where you kind of have to counter steer. Wheels coming loose. So uh, this just randomly, like, I don't know, I don't know why this, this has no relevance to anything, really, but, uh, so Discord was doing, like, a promotion, like, Discord and Crunchyroll, and, like, like, it was like a, you get a one free month of premium on Crunchyroll, which is, like, a anime streaming service, kind of like Netflix, for those who don't know, uh, so I was like, sure, why not? I'm just going to cancel it afterwards. And then I completely forgot. And then they charged me, you know, for like the next month. And I was like, damn it. You got me. So I canceled because I'm not a very, uh, I'm not a very, uh, not a very big anime enjoyer. But some, uh, some anime I'll watch, but I just, I guess, don't really have the time to. But okay, um, let's see. So here it says, I didn't, I didn't even like have any sequen sequential mods for it. It was just using the full H shifter mode like it was sequential. That's the unfortunate thing about, like, I don't know, um, like consumer stuff. Like, they aren't really, like, made to you know, be like bulletproof or bomb proof. Um, so like, it just ends up like breaking after a while. And I think that might be intended, you know, the whole planned obsolescence thing, um, which is uh, a little unfortunate, but. Like I think cars, like newer cars now are getting to the point where it's like, you can't like service them anymore like um or it's getting harder and harder for like a you know a person to even do something as simple as like um access the battery to like jump a car uh, i remember uh my boss of my old company he drove a prius a second gen prius and one of my co-workers at the time uh, needed a jump but the Prius second gen Prius battery was located in a ridiculously like I don't know or from what he said it was located in like a almost inaccessible location which is kind of unfortunate But, I don't know. Big corporations aren't really on the lookout for the common person. Or how, you know, people really feel. All they really care about are, you know, the, the big bucks. Okay. Doing some more ass scraping here. Alright, so Mox says, Sweaty God Hand intensifies. 
There's like a meme that was like uh, floating around the Reddit for a while, where it was one of those pictures of like, you know, uh, it was like the God Hand, and he was like, you know, rubbing his face or something with like a towel, and it said like, you know, it was one of those just pictures, and it says on the top. Like, you have been visited by the sweaty S2K man. Like, like God drifts and ex excellent handling will come to you only if you reply, stay hydrated, God hand. Like, in the thread below or whatever. And on that particular Reddit post, everyone, like, there were, like, hundreds of people who just put, like, you know, uh, like, stay hydrated, God hand. So, one must always stay hydrated. So, Christian says, uh, throw up, coming in, three minutes. Trust. A humble cause, Hero says. The humblest of causes. Um, speaking of throwing up, I think that's probably one of like the worst feelings like at least for me like I hate the feeling of throwing up um I can't and I don't know when like no one enjoys it right like uh but like if I do puke like I'm like out for like the rest of the day like I'm like I hate it. Oh god, it makes me kind of sick thinking about it. Oh man, here, are you gonna say something inappropriate? Oh man. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. So here it says, I swear you're about to, I swear you were about to say, speaking of throwing up, I need to do it right now, so give me a say. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh yeah. Throwing up is a uh, throwing up is no bueno. Ditch the hat. Do I look like an idiot? Yes, I do, but whatever. I don't know if if you guys can hear it, but like the the Tirano, I think I chose the I don't know what, uh, oh, I don't know what, uh, what did I choose? The supercharger? Turbo? I think it's the turbo. But it has, like, a really high-pitched sound, and it's kind of annoying. Like, it sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Should I do the god hand technique? I'm gonna do God Hand. All right, so Mox says, got a question for you, Ken. What's the silliest car you've driven in D8? Um, honestly, like this is probably gonna be underwhelming, but like, uh, uh, I get, I think it's just like the the Banana Eleven, really. Um, I I can't say I've ever played with the Prius. Um, I wish, I wish I did, but, um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of the cars are, I don't know, feel more or less, like, you know, similar, uh, at, at least to me. Well, with the exception of the stupid Banana 11. Which can't turn or shit. But it's okay, we love it anyway. We love it for its flaws. I will say too, though, like, I like the NSX, because I feel like the... the, um, the engine note just sounds so, like, absurdly, like, cool and like like I've always equated it to like a 
like a jet engine, like a turbine engine, or like a fighter jet. Like, it just roars, and it's, it's like, amazing to hear. And then there are cars like the S15 and the uh, the FC, where I literally can't hear them. Like they're so they're so quiet, and it's annoying because I have to turn up the game volume so damn loud in order to because it's a good indication of where you are. You know, how fast you're going, or, you know, if you need to shift down without actually looking at the, you know, of course, so. I also haven't, like, I don't know, I definitely played this game a bunch, but I haven't played all the cars a whole bunch, so I, like, I really can't really, you know, have a good, I don't think I have a good feel for the, the nuances of each car. I just know that the course car feels fast, the A6 feels pretty good, uh, the S2000 also feels pretty good, the NSX is also fun. And the Banana 11 sucks. That's that's pretty much. Alright, Mox says, I tried the Prius after beating Boonta on team side, and it sucks just as much as I thought it would. <laughs> and here it says, this is unlike cars back in old D, where every car felt like it had its own personality. Yeah, like, I kind of... I kind of wish that, like, it was kind of like that too, like, in this game. Um, but, I mean, I suppose, like, from, like, a programming, you know, game kind of, uh, viewpoint, it'd be kind of difficult to make, like, what, 50 or so cars, uh, all have a very unique kind of feel, um, because, you know, Sega likes to cut as many corners as they, as they can. You know, I wonder. I've been going. I've been trying to go for a Momiji line uphill. Uh, this was a while ago, but like, I I feel like I can consistently hit that the first uh, hairpin um, on wheel. So naturally, on controller, it should be a piece of cake. I don't actually think that, but uh, maybe maybe kind of kind of I do. But, uh... Oh, I was not paying attention. Ooh, auto steer helping me with that. Alright. How we doing on... We're coming up to uh, the end of the stream. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a few few runs on Iro Hazaka. Iro Hazaka. Iro. Iro. Uncle Iro. Uh, I'll do like one or two runs on this, and then we'll do the tra the traditional the tradition. Snow walking uphill. Oh man, there's a conversation about all the old cars and the personalities.
can't see my, my gear and my speed, which is like, to me, really important on Euro, Euro Hasuka. this hairpin Ugh. oh no money shift all right let's hit the dre or oh, jump no jump Yes! Yes! Oh man, I can't see. Really should like adjust the, the seating position. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just catching up with what I can see on the screen. Uh, Hero says the, the, the one car I like the most is the Cappuccino, to be honest. The GTRs and Old D were pretty terrible, if I recall correctly. Uh, Mox says the RX 7s are powerful in street stage and id3 but the rx8 is just plain broken i do remember the rx8 uh or reading about how that was just the the meta um so mox says when i drove the rx8 for the first time it broke all my old records stock and faster than my stage five cars that is that is too too op and hero says oh yeah the rx8 is one of the best if not the best car in version 3. Christian chimes in, didn't the Hondas get nerfed to the ground in that game? Oh man, poor, poor Honda. And Mox says, uh, the DC2 used to be the fastest car in, in ID2. Got nerfed to the ground for the rest of the series. Rip. I wonder if, like, the actual companies had anything to do with, like, you know, pain to get their car to be, like, number one. Alright. This is the... This is, this is it. This is it, boys. And girls. And remember, if, if Mogi joins the chat I get another chance so so we'll, we'll be on the lookout <laughs> dang it there goes my specialist down there.
really don't like these hairpins. Wow, this is probably one of the worst snow walking uphill runs. Okay. Um, all right. So Mox says, "Hey, Ken, what's the story behind the end of stream tradition?" Uh, I guess the the whole thing is just like, uh, I mean, there there really isn't much to it. It's just that at the end of every stream, I go for uh, on wheel or on wheel. Is it on wheel? I don't know. Wheel or controller? I, I go for um, snow walking uphill. Uh, like the one time and one time only for for the night. So like no practicing or anything. Um, uh, I'm not. I don't know how it came up, but uh, but yeah. Um, uh, oh, just like a fun thing to do. Uh, snow walking uphill is one of the easiest uh, specialists, and I've gotten it multiple times. Uh, and I think I've gotten it once so far in like the one run and one run only kind of thing, the end of stream thing. So. Uh, uh, yeah, just just something fun to do, and then the 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 I guess the caveat I don't know the the rule is that if if a bot joins and like starts spamming in the chat, we call that bot like you know Mogi because one time uh, a bot had like started like spamming like you know hot single woman like in your area like. Uh, click me to find out more or something like that and so we call that bot mogi so if mogi joins the chat then i get another chance on snow and uphill but that's that's a story with that um apologize for missing the conversation about v3 uh and all the all the cars there but uh uh christian says where uh, in response to the cat boo or oh oh you're talking no I get it I get it I get it where are where are all these hot single ladies in my area there's uh yeah they they, 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 they yep anyway all right so that's gonna be uh it <laughs> in your area dummy here it says um yeah. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for today. Um, thank you for joining me on stream number twenty-four. Uh, we're getting back into the streams. Um, we're gonna also try this uh, stream this Saturday at eleven no twelve twelve p.m. UTC eight minus eight. Um, but yeah, cool. Christian says he's gonna be on the lookout for the the hot singles, hot single ladies in a. Uh, in your area <laughs> thanks for the tip and thank you guys for watching so uh i will uh i wish you guys a good rest of your day and uh i'll see you on the next one